Welcome to the Guitar Resource Podcast. Practice topics for the beginning and intermediate guitarist. Hello, I'm Jim Ellis, and uh, welcome to this episode. We're going to talk about the uh, blues scale. So in the previous episodes, we've covered uh, the blues scale in um, five different areas, uh, five different uh, regions on the guitar, which may include a, a position or two, or maybe even uh, three. So that really covers uh, the position. So once, you, and you'll find this with other scales, once you can get five kind of pattern regions working, uh, you pretty much have the, the whole uh, set. And that is especially true for um, the pentatonic scales, if you think uh, two notes per string. So you can kind of visualize that. So what we're going to do now is kind of complete the circle in a way and talk about the open position. But we're going to uh, play it an octave higher. So we'll take all those shapes, or all those notes for that shape, and we will move it up to 12th position. So you may notice on your guitar that there are two dots or should, should be in most circumstances two dots or some special uh, signifier that, that shows that the 12th fret is kind of a special spot on the guitar. And notice here I'm playing harmonics. So those are all an octave above the open strings. So we have the same pitch name on the same string at the 12th fret. And so that's why... Uh, that's important. So when we play this note, it's like playing the open string an octave higher. So let me just demonstrate. If I play a few notes of the uh, blue scale, and then I go to the 12th fret, then I have that an octave higher in the shape. is really the same. It's just that the first finger is replacing all of those open strings. So let's talk about some of the chords and things. So, and if your guitar doesn't reach this high, maybe just try to um, watch. And if you want to bring the uh, thumb over, if you want to follow along. Otherwise, you may want to have a guitar that has a cutaway to it. All right. so. Let's talk about a couple chords. So we have the C chord. Okay, so notice. Basically taking the C, placing each finger, another finger. And since the nut of the guitar is holding that note for us, I will use my first finger to play that when I get up here. Okay, so that's the C chord. Take a look at the A minor. So you know, notice A minor here is like this. Now if I swap out the fingers, the nut of the guitar is holding this note for me, this string and the first string open. So when I come up here, I will use the first finger to hold those notes. So let's go over the uh, A minor or C pentatonic in this uh, position. So we have uh, fret 12 on the 6th string, 12 and 15. On the 5th string we have 12 and 15, 4th string 12 and 14, 3rd string 12 and 14. 2nd string, 13 and 15. And then 1st string, 12 and 15. And back down, we have 15, 12, thir or 15, 13, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 
okay, now we have the pentatonic scale, but we're really talking about the blues scale. So let's take that A minor. And let's make it major. Okay, so now taking A, if I play this with a third finger, and I put this first finger on the 12th fret, we get that A. So now we go through the a minor pentatonic, and we will add the uh, one note to make it the blue scale. So we have 12, 15 on the sixth string. Fifth string, we have 12 and 15 on the fifth string. And the fourth string, we have 12, 13, 14. And then third string, we have 12 and 14. On the uh, second string, we'll shift up a little bit, or well, let's stay in this position actually. So I have two and four, an eleventh fret on first string, and on to twelfth fret, the fifteenth fret. So let's go back down. So we have fifteen, twelve, eleven on the first string. 15 and 13, second string. On to the third string, we have 14 and 12. Fourth string, we have 14 and 13 and 12. And fifth string, we have 15 and 12. And then we have a sixth string, 15 and 12. So see, you can play around with that and uh, work through all that. So that will kind of complete the, the circle. And then as far as you have notes to play on the guitar, see if you can work out patterns in all of the, the positions. So since this repeats as open, so the next uh, position that we had talked about here, so you would end up going up here. Okay. And playing whatever notes you want out of that. Well, thanks for watching, and I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. Let me know if you have any uh, questions about it. Um, a couple things to look out for. Uh, I have uh, the Dust in the Wind uh, series, still uh, working through that, quite a few videos out now, so be sure to check those out on the uh, YouTube channel or on the uh, website. And um, keep an eye out for a few uh, screencasts in the works on uh, how to how to visualize uh, some of the patterns and how to understand them. And, um, and I think you'll find those. Uh, very helpful too, and I have a few out already on the uh, YouTube channel. Well, uh, remember to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're enjoying the content, and uh, remember to follow on Facebook and Twitter as well. And we do have a, a newsletter that you can join, and that that's on the um, a link to that is on the Facebook page and on the website. Well, thanks again for. Uh, listening, and I hope you have a great practice week. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Guitar Resource Podcast. Be sure to rate and subscribe. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.